Let's say f of x is a function whose graph looks like this. This f of x is a fairly complicated function, but let's imagine we only cared about f for values of x near some particular value. Let's say for this value here, let's call it a. If we only care about the behavior of f in some small region around a, we can come up with a simplified approximation for f. One approximation is a linear approximation. Let's say we want to find a linear approximation to f for x near a. If x is a differentiable function, this means that around x equals a, it looks like a linear function. If we zoom in and zoom in, eventually f will look linear. And in that zoomed in view, f will be very close to its tangent line. The graph of the tangent line might look something like this. Clearly the tangent line isn't a good approximation to f far away from a, but right near a it does a good job. Say in this region right here. In this region the tangent line at x equals a is a good approximation to f. So let's calculate the equation for the tangent line at x equals a. What's the slope of the tangent line? The slope is the derivative evaluated at x equals a. So we need to find the equation for a line with slope f prime of a that goes through the point that we've drawn right here. The x-coordinate of the point is a. What is the y-coordinate? The y-coordinate is the value of f at a. It's just f of a. Now we need to remember the point slope form for a line. The point slope formula for a line through a point, let's call the point x naught y naught. Well, it's not y equals mx plus b, because that's the slope intercept form. Instead, it's y minus y naught equals m times x minus x naught. Or of course m is the slope. We can add y naught to both sides to get the equation y equals y naught plus m times x minus x naught. So to find the equation for the tangent line, we can use the point slope formula with m equals the slope of the tangent line which is f prime of a, x naught equals a, and y naught equals f of a, because the coordinates of the point are a comma f of a. So therefore the tangent line is y equals y naught, so that's f of a, plus the slope m, the derivative f prime of a times x minus the point a. So this is the equation for the tangent line or we could call it a linear approximation. This tangent line or linear approximation for f is valid only near x equals a. If we wanted to understand the behavior of f at a point far away from a, let's say over here, we'll call it b, then the linear approximation at a is no good. But a function has many linear approximations. We could also calculate a different linear approximation for f around the point b. It would look something like this, and it would be a good approximation for f near b. What's the equation for this tangent line or linear approximation? Well, it's simply y equals the value of f above b, that's f of b, plus the slope f prime of b times x minus b. The same formula we had before, only with b instead of a. Let's try an example. 
Let's find a linear approximation or tangent line to f of x equals e to the x squared minus 1 at x equals 1. Here's our formula. We just need to evaluate the function and its derivative at the point x equals 1. Well, f of 1 is e to the 1 squared minus 1, which is e to the 0, which is just 1. Okay, that was easy. How about the derivative? To calculate the derivative of f, we need to use the chain rule. We could think of f of x being the composition g of h of x, where g of y is the exponential function, and h of x is the polynomial x squared minus 1. With this notation for the composition, then the chain rule says that the derivative of the composition is the derivative of the outside function, in this case g, evaluated at the inside function, times the derivative of the inside function, in this case it's h. Well, g prime of y is just e to the y, and h prime of x is 2x, so the derivative of f prime of x is e to the x squared minus 1. That's g prime e to the y evaluated at x squared minus 1 times 2x, the derivative of h prime. We need to evaluate this derivative at the point a which is just 1 here, so we need f prime of 1, which is e to the 1 squared minus 1 times 2 times 1, so e to the 0 times 2, e to the 0 is 1, so this is just equal to 2. Therefore, the linear approximation, or the equation for the tangent line at x equals 1, is f of 1 plus f prime of 1 times x minus 1. In other words, it's y equals 1 plus 2 times x minus 1, which you could multiply out if you like. And of course, we would get a different linear approximation at a different point. Let's say, what if we tried to find the tangent line at x equals negative 1? Well, for that, we just need the derivative and the function evaluated at negative 1. Well, what's f of negative 1? Well, it's e to the negative 1 squared minus 1. Which is also e to the 0 or 1. So f of negative 1 is the same thing as f of 1. f prime of negative 1 is a little different though. We'll get e to the negative 1 squared minus 1. But now multiplied by 2x or 2 times negative 1. So we get e to the 0 times negative 2. The derivative at negative 1 is negative 2. And the tangent line, y equals f of negative 1 plus f prime of negative 1 times x minus the negative 1, so I'll write it as x plus 1, is the equation y equals 1 minus 2 times x plus 1. So we calculated two tangent lines, one which approximates the function around x equals 1, 
and another that approximates the function around x equals negative 1.